big thank you to the Wauseon uh, student section. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Very nice. It's Welcome to week nine. Man. I'm running out of fingers. Of the Tim and Chuck High School Football Show presented by Bat and Stevens Body Shop. We are here on location at Frickers. Yep. Chuck, let's start the show by jumping in to some video. Let's do it. Watching on Brian last week. Yep. I mean, had a little bit of everything. Talk about atmosphere oh, from man. the student sections. Yeah, you know, that's NWAL football at its finest. You get all those guys together. They're having fun out there supporting their classmates. That's just a good time. A little bit of wind. Yep. A little rain. And a final score of Wauseon 61, Brian nothing. Wow. Surprised? Very surprised. You know, we talked about the show last week, and, uh, you know, I thought Brian was going to put more, put up more of a fight, but, man, Wauseon came, came out of the gate, really got after things early and set the tone. Yeah, they are in the driver's seat now. They're 8-0, yeah. no, ranked it's fourth in the state. Detroit leaning now <laughs> Detroit, through, through the last yeah. couple weeks. Exactly. Now, let's check out the reaction from uh, Wauseon coach Travis Cooper and Brian Menner, Kevin Klein, following the game. Our first string defense is really, really tough, and, and I can't give enough credit to our, our defensive uh, coordinator, uh, JD, J.D. Schnicki. He takes care of up front, and uh, he does a great job of game planning. Uh, again, it was, when you have a score like that against a, a team like Brian, you played well in all phases of the game. You know, it was, uh, there was nothing pretty about that at all, absolutely on our end of it. And, you know, I, I, Coop's done a really good job over here, and I hope people realize that and understand that. Yeah, how about Coop talking about his defensive line, Chuck? Yeah, I mean, you can see here on the video, those guys are really getting after it. They're getting a lot of quick pressure on the quarterback, getting right in his face, flushing him out of the pocket, making him move around where he's uncomfortable and can't get the ball downfield to his receivers. Well, Wauseon scored 61 points. They've been putting up points, but I think the, the big thing there was the zero that Brian had. Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of times, especially even in, in big blowout games, you put some of your backups in, you expect to give up a seven here or there, you know, when you're playing second and third teamers, but the goose egg all the way across the board speaks volumes about uh, how good Wauseon's playing right yeah, now. Yeah, they're rolling. They're rolling. Well, Chuck, let's let's get into the game of the week. Something uh, you might know a little bit about there in the GMC. <laughs> Tenora hitting the road to take on yeah. Wayne Trace, both unbeaten in the GMC. Tenora comes in ranked fourth in the state in Division Six. Second in that region, yeah. Wayne Trace sixth in that region. How about this matchup? Yeah, you know, it's a battle of the GMC big boys. They've been the uh, dominant teams the last couple of years, and uh, man, no holds barred to get in this game. They're going to come out and just be ready to play. Tenora got them last year in the regular sure, season, yeah. went on to win the league, but Wayne Trace got them in the playoffs. Oh, yeah, you know, it's hard to beat a team twice, and especially when you're dealing with a league team like that that you've probably seen on tape the first time you play late in the season like this. You've probably already seen them on tape four or five times, and then to play them twice on top of seeing them that many times on film, you know, there's not a whole lot of secrets at that point in time. Well, we, we can say this about Tenora. They got that ground game rolling. They are averaging 47.8 points per game, only giving up 5.62. Yeah, that, that defense is stout, very stout. You know, they, they line up, and uh, Coach Hileshorn has those guys playing well again this year. They're, it's tough to move the ball on. Tyler Reisner comes in with 47 tackles, eight and a half sacks for that Tenor defense. Nathan Dravis, 44 tackles. They're, yeah. Like you said, they're getting it done. Yeah, they're just getting it done. And I, I think the thing that surprises me on the flip side for Tenor's offense, we talk about how they like to run the ball a lot, but uh, in seeing them on film, they've been dabbling here and there with spreading people out and throwing the ball downfield to some wideouts. So, uh, you know, just uh, another weapon in that toolbox that they've got to, when you have to stop to norm. Tyler Showalter, Tyler the Showalter, show. leading, leading the way for Wayne Trace. 20 rushing touchdowns, 24 passing. Yeah, and you look at his numbers, you know, the show, he's playing well, but the last couple weeks he hasn't played a lot. I think last week he all sat out almost all the second half, so to put up still those numbers that he's got, that's saying that he's getting a lot of production in the minutes that he's playing. Noah Stoller leads that defense with 61 tackles. Connor Aaron comes in, 51 stops, nine and a half sacks. Yeah, they're another defense. They line up, they're going to man up out wide, and uh, you got to beat them. And it starts with those guys in the trenches for Wayne Trace. You know, those, Chucky is, is a key cog in that line, and he, uh, you know, is hard to move. That should be a dandy. Should be, yeah. Well, Chuck, let's take a little bit of a, a little bit of a break. We'll be right back. Did you know that you can have complete access to stories, pictures, and the Crescent News e-edition at crescentnews.com for just $7 a month? Become an online subscriber to crescentnews.com by calling me, Abby, at 419-784-5441, extension 233, or visiting the Crescent News online subscribe section on the top right-hand corner of our homepage. And remember, Crescent News print subscribers, you have complete access at crescentnews.com for no additional charge. 
We are back and it is time once again to hand out our awards this week. Chuck, let's start with the Rose Insurance Collision of the Week. Let's do it. What, what do they say about that, Chuck? They say a hit by any other name would not be the Rose Insurance Collision of the Week, Timmy. What do we have? You know, coming from that Wauseon Bryan game, you can see it here. Wauseon quarterback Zach Robinson throws a little uh, wider receiver screen to his tight end, Noah Castle. Gets some nice blocks there from Caleb Andrews and Luke Reichner. Then he uh, gets downfield, but Brian's David Rummel grabs onto a leg, and then Derek Nicely comes through with a big shoulder and undercuts him for the big hit of the week. Right on down. Yeah, very on nice. Down. Very nice. Let's, uh, let's jump into the staff mark play of the week from that same game. We got Wauseon quarterback Zach Robinson takes off running. Get some blocking from Caleb Andrews and Alex Sosa pulling through. There he goes running behind Colin Seiler. Gets a, a, a nice block from him. Cuts to his left. Big gain. Wasian goes on to win 61 to nothing. That's our staff mark play of the week. week. So Chuck, it's time for where's Ethan? Where is he going to be this week? I don't know. Ask him yourself. Hey Ethan, where are you going to be this week? I'll be at Genora at Wayne Trace. So uh, what can we expect out there on Friday night, Ethan? Hopefully a good game. Yep. So fans, be ready. I'll be the guy with the small camera. <laughs> <laughs> Look for him. He'll be looking for you. That's right. As always, we'd like to thank our title sponsor, Bat and Stevens, for allowing us to do this. Yep. Frickers for hosting. Yep. Rose Insurance and Staff Mark for sponsoring our weekly awards. And as always, on Friday night, Saturday, check out the scores and the and the game stories at crescentnews.com. Yeah. Follow us on Twitter. Yeah, and be ready to, to spot Ethan in that crowd this week over at uh, Baldwin County when he's uh, videotaping the Rams and the Raiders getting getting after it. Yeah, for sure. And as always, we're on Facebook, the Tim and Chuck High School Football Show. That's right. Get online and check it out, baby. <laughs> when we come back, it'll be week 10, Chuck. Man, flies. Yeah. Flies, everybody better start growing them playoff beards. We'll be ready. How about you? Oh, yeah. Let's be there. <laughs> <laughs>